What's up, Madden 25 gamers? In today's Scheme of the Week video, we're going to be using the Cleveland Browns playbook. This is our base zone beater uh, formation that we're going to be able to access through our quick audibles. And the play that we're going to focus on today is the shotgun trips tied in. Remember, we're using the Cleveland playbook, but we're using the Kansas City Chiefs team. And the main play we're going to be looking at is the play action slot corner. I love this play because it can beat every coverage, and there's certain things that we can do to make it even better. What I like to do is I like to put the running back on um, any route at all. You could put him on a, a wheel um, or whatever, but you want to motion the running back out uh, to the right, and then you're going to put him on a drag. So you see basically we're going to make a five wide with the trips to the left. You're going to put him on a drag, and then you're going to put Dwayne Bow here on a smoke screen. This route combination will beat any coverage in Madden 25, and that's why I love it so much. Your first read on this play every single time is your drag. If they don't go with him, if they don't follow him, you know you're going to be able to hit him against man uh, and zone coverage. Typically, if they, won't, if they don't follow him, it means it's zone coverage, and you know you're going to have that drag route open. That's why I like having drag routes this year. I think that um, you know we, we expand our offenses all the time, but sometimes we forget that something as simple as a drag route um, is very effective. Okay, the next read I want to show you is the uh, smoke screen. Um, so basically, typically you'll be able to hit the drag, but they may have a quarterback spy uh, or something to combat it. So I like to look to my smoke screen next. So I look to my drag, and I see that it's covered, and then I'm going to go back to my smoke screen. Typically, um, that will be open against cover four and um, zone blitzes. So that's what we like. We have two quick reads uh, at the snap of the ball that can beat pretty much every zone in the game. And then um, my fourth read, or my, excuse me, my third read comes, um, if they're in maybe a cover three or something, uh, typically Tony Moyaki will be uh, wide open against cover three right in that little uh, void right there. Okay? And then my, my fourth read is also uh, able to beat cover three. Um, and it's actually my, my deep corner right now. What, what's going to happen is eventually they're going to start playing cover two, and we'll get back to that in just a moment. Um, but you'll see here this uh, deep corner route to, sur uh, to B here. You're going to want to uh, pass that down into the left there. I didn't get a quite uh, a very good animation on that one. Uh, but basically, uh, it should be open 95% uh, of the time because he has that inside position. But typically, you won't have to really worry about that, to be honest. The next read I want to show you is if they uh, potentially start going cover two. And uh, that's because we're throwing so much underneath routes. Eventually, they're going to have to call cover two. And if they call cover two, you're going to see that A will, A will kind of be open uh, against a, a standard cover two, but he won't be open against cover two sync. The next read I want to show you is against cover two sync here. So I'm going to hop into this uh, cover three, cover two sync out of the nickel 335. And what's going to happen is uh, Donnie Avery's route should be wide open over the deep uh, sideline. Here it's not, but if I go to my next read and my post route is wide open. So one of those two routes will beat the cover to sync, which is now going to allow you to beat every zone coverage uh, in Madden NFL 25. And don't forget, you know, normally your drag route will be able to beat uh, cover to sync. Here they run just a regular cover two, and you see that that corner route's wide open. So guys, that's the play action slot corner play and how I like to run it. Uh, real quick, I'll show you a quick man read, uh, just in case you guess wrong and they're actually a two man under. Your reads are all the same, um, but what's going to happen is Jamal Charles' route is uh, going to get that inside position against uh, against man coverage, and we can pass through that to the inside if he's open. If he doesn't look like he's open, then don't throw it. I urge you to either look at my drag, uh, how to throw a drag tutorial I did earlier on in the season, or just don't throw it and progress to your next read. The next read on this play is going to be, t uh, remember, it's um, the smoke screen, but that won't beat man, but co uh, Tony Moyaki's corner route uh, will definitely beat man-to-man -man coverage. And that's the thing I like is those deep corner routes are going to kill man-to-man um, -man coverages. So it, it's really kind of pick your poison with this formation. And, and this formation is uh, very simple to run, but I feel like we, a lot of times we get away from it. There you see that deep corner route beating man on the other side. So that's the PA slot corner. Um, the next play I want to look at here is the verticals. And basically what I like to do with this is I like to motion Donnie Avery over to the right side here, have that deep corner route, and basically I'm just going to run a smash concept. So I'm going to put Moyaki here on a flat, uh, flat route. I'm going to put Jamal Charles on a deep um, a, a streak route, and my uh, Dwayne Bell, I'm going to put him on a comeback route. My first read on this play is always going to be the flat route. Against cover four or uh, zone blitzes, it's going to be a really good option. The second read I like to have on this uh, play uh, typically is going to be either the running back out of the backfield or that deep corner route. Um, yeah, it's actually probably going to be the deep corner route. So here I see there it's not open, and then I can know that against cover three, I can pass you that to the right. And it's going to be wide open against cover three coverages. If they are in a cover two coverage, um, typically what's going to happen here is 
Charles will get in a void in the cover two and force him to adjust. But by the motion over of Avery, you see you're still going to be able to hit him. The only thing I would urge you to watch out for is cover two sink on this play. So here we're going to audible to cover two sink and show you. Uh, and this is why I like that, that um, left side of the field route combination so that we can beat cover two sink on one side and cover three and cover four on the other side. But cover two sink, you see that that yellow zone is going to kind of stay with him a little bit, ends up getting an interception there. That's where we use the running back. That's where the running back comes into, uh, into play because we don't want to hit a – we usually don't like to hit flat routes uh, if against cover two sink just because they can come up and make an easy tackle for maybe two, three yards. So – the running back's route, though, however, is going to split those uh, yellow zones, and I like to hit that underneath. If for some reason that's not open, this is where those vertical routes uh, on the other side come into play. Uh, triangle's route is going to crush the cover two uh, n almost every time. And that's what I really like about it. And then I'll uh, show you some two-man under. That's also the same angled streak that I use to beat two-man under press. Um, so just uh, just uh, basically just lob that up against two men under. Typically, it's going to work out for you. When he, when he lights up, remember, you don't ever want to throw the ball until they light up. But here you see they light up, and I'll just hit him over the top in that cover two sink. Here we're going to look at two men under. I want to show you this one other read. Uh, this is something I've been doing a lot more often um, out of uh, especially my giant slot trail plays and stuff like that. Uh, this angled streak to McCluster can be found out of many playbooks. When his icon lights up, you want to pass lead him to the right and lob it, and you see he's going to get that separation. It's very difficult for them to click on and make any play on that. So just have that in your back pocket. And then as always, and this is why we like to use them this year, comeback routes are money against man-to-man -man coverage. And if we need to, if everything's taken away, it's very simple. We could just hit that comeback route against that two-man under coverage. All right, guys, so that's the basics of the zone beater. Remember, we always have that halfback mid-draw. Remember to mix in your motions, uh, as we stated uh, in our top five tips to improve uh, in Man 25. Make sure to remember to use the same similar motions and, and things like that to create you know, better, better matchups and, and, and just make everything look the same so they don't know if you're running draw. They don't know if you're running, you know, they don't know what you're doing offensively. Thanks for watching today, guys. I hope that this zone uh, beating play can help you out. And uh, once again, be sure to subscribe if you like our tips. If you don't like our tips, let me know what I can do to improve and let me know something that you need to be broken down. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to leave a like rating if you enjoyed the video. And if you could, I'd appreciate it if you shared it on Twitter. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.